Hey everybody, it's Shelly. Happy Friday to you. Have a shortcut for you, which is really cool. This used to be readily available with a JavaScript, but then it went away and now we found a shortcut. And we can thank HoustonPianoCompany.com. Sue Merrill found this shortcut and shared it with me today and I thought I would make you a video so that you can do the same. This allows you to go into Facebook when you're having an event. You know how you have to select each individual person you want to invite? Well, this will allow you to select them in much larger groups. So let me show you how to do this. Now the first thing is this application is available for Chrome, the web browser for Chrome, not for IE. So you have to um, have Chrome installed and then you're going to go search chrome.google.com and when you get there it's the web store, forward slash web store, the Chrome web store, you will type in Facebook Inviter and search on Facebook Inviter and you'll see that an application comes up right there I've already installed it but basically it's going to add a toggle all button to your Facebook invitation groups for fa fan pages etc any events that you're having so let me show you what that looks like I'm gonna go ahead and get to springboard and then of course I use events which a lot of people do this is a great shortcut and on this particular event when I want to invite people select guests to invite you can see it's pulling up guests. I can, instead of having to click every one of these boxes, which takes forever, you can notice there's a box called Toggle All because I downloaded that web Chrome app. So if I select Toggle All, it's going to go ahead and put check marks into the names. Now there's only one drawback. You'll see as I scroll down, it's checked and then it kind of you have to start again. So what I suggest you do is add a personal message to the invitation, inviting everybody to come. Go ahead and submit it and send it, and then come back. And all the ones that are grayed out, like Donna Fisher is right there, you can go ahead and do the same thing, toggle all, and do that. Okay, so that's a way to save some time, add some time to your life. And again, if you like this tip, you can go to HoustonPianoCompany.com and go thank them for sharing this tip on how to use Google Chrome application to select all contacts in Facebook. Have a great weekend and we'll see you next week.